Ineos is a company in the UK, and it's the fourth largest chemical company in the world. The owner is a man named Jim Ratcliffe, and he has a fondness for classically cool boxy SUVs. I am with him on that. He was hoping that a modern Defender would fit whatever he imagined it would be in his mind, but apparently didn't, and that's why he started his own car company of the same Ineos name. Their first vehicle is a boxy SUV with modern internals, and it's called the Grenadier. But as that one is set to roll out to customers, Ineos has another model up its sleeve. It's a pickup truck variant, and it's called the Quartermaster. A lot went down at this past Goodwood Festival of Speed, and one vehicle to make its debut is the all-new Quartermaster. Interesting name for a truck, but it makes sense when you dive into what it means. It's a military term describing an officer who is responsible for the supply of materials, and trucks are good at carrying supplies. Also, you know Q from James Bond? The Q is for Quartermaster. But what does this truck deliver on? Well, it seems like a whole lot of off-road ready goodness. Power is provided by the same mill found in the SUV version. It's a turbocharged three liter inline six acquired from BMW. There's a diesel version and a gas one, but I suspect we're only getting the gas burner, which is good for 282 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque. It's a bit of a shame we can't get the diesel since it makes 250 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque. Regardless, both engines are backed up by a ZF eight-speed automatic. The power is sent out through a full-time four-wheel drive setup. There's a locking center diff and a two-speed transfer case, and you can also add on front and rear e-lockers if you desire, and you should because they turn an off-roader from a farm goat into a mountain goat. The addition of the bed allows for a more useful space for those who need to haul things. The payload capacity is rated at 1,676 pounds, and you can tow just over 7,700 pounds. You've got a weighting depth of 31.5 inches. The ground clearance as it sits is 10.4 inches. There's two recovery hooks in the front and two in the rear. There's even a 400 watt power takeoff in the bed. This thing sounds like luxurious, heavy equipment. As far as on-road manners, you have solid axles, but you also have five link suspension setups, front and rear, and a set of Brembo brakes for stopping power. So it should ride as nice on the pavement as it does in the dirt. It is a beast of a thing, and Ineos will offer it for sale with loads of options to enhance ownership and enjoyment. From a rear canvas canopy to roof racks, onto winches, interior upgrades, and more. The base model is simply called the Quartermaster, and then there's one that's a bit more off-road intense called the Trial Master. Then you also have a fancy one called the Field Master. No word yet on price for the U.S. market, but it is coming here. NEO should have U.S. market numbers early on in 2024, while the SUV should be hitting local trails here by the end of 2023, but expect a price starting just north of $80,000.